everyone. Um, a little frustrated today. You're here in my garage. This is my sprinkler box here, and, and I'm having a little communication problem. Uh, this little box is not communicating with my sprinklers out back. And I've tried, I've looked through the manual here and I've figured out how to do it. And I'm, I'm fairly good at understanding these kind of things, but it's, I just can't seem to get this box to listen to the, uh, the valves out back. And so I'm just having a difficult time with it. Now, there is a, there is a helpline I could call on here, but I don't know if you've ever experienced the same thing I have on being helplines. You get on there and you're like on there for like an hour and a half. And it's kind of crazy and things like that. So let's go. I think I might have it fixed now. Let's go in the back and see if it's kind of working. So follow me. Let's go in my backyard because actually this, uh, oh, by the way, this, uh, this tapestry has a little bit of a history behind it and a story I'll tell you. I'll have to tell you at some time. But, but let's go back here and we'll kind of go into my backyard and, and check this out. You know, one of the things that um, is true about this whole frustration with communication thing is it even goes that way with our communication with God, especially in times of suffering when we really need to hear from God. Uh, we want, we, we, we call him, we ask him for help, we, we want to hear from him. You know, the, in the Bible book of Job that we've been studying through, uh, it's, it's taken 38 chapters for God to speak, and we wonder, is he really speaking? Well, I had a great time with the Lord this morning, and I, this verse came to me, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. It says, The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise, as some count slowness, but is patient towards you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. Now this is talking about uh, the last days when Jesus is gonna come and set up his kingdom and make things right uh, after much turmoil and hardship. And, 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 but it does give an insight about God and the reasons for his timing. Uh, there's something that he is trying to accomplish in this time and that we're to be patient. And it's not that God's listening. Actually, uh, John, uh, 1 John 5, verse 14 says this, and this is the confidence that we have towards him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he actually hears us. And so, so but sometimes we feel like David. Uh, uh, David, in, in, in Psalm uh, 22, verses 1 and 2, it says this, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning? Oh, my God, I cry by day, uh, but you do not answer. And by night, but I find no rest. And we feel that way sometimes when we encounter various issues and we just want God to answer us. But the truth is this, Jeremiah 29 verses 12 and 13 says, when you call upon me that God says, and come to me and pray to me, I will hear you and will seek you and, 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 and you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of, our, all of your heart. See, God is listening and he, and he is answering in his way and in his time. Job was struggling, suffering, and his friends were not helping. And finally, God does answer in the chapter 38. And, and it seems like a long wait, but, but, and, and then we make all kinds of assumptions of why. But yet, yielding to God's power and God's timing comes into play. Isaiah 40, 31, you've heard this verse before. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength, and they shall... Uh, Mount up with wings like eagles. Uh, they shall run and not be weary, and then they shall walk and not faint. And, and that's the idea behind this, is that, that we should wait upon the Lord and trust in Him and, and that. And so, you know, I want to encourage you. But let's, let's go see. There, there may be some, uh, uh, maybe my sprinklers are actually listening to what's going on here and, and stuff like that. The, the box is right, or the, the valves are right down here. I don't know if you can see them right down here. But wait a second, I think I, is that, is there something happening? I hear something going on and stuff like that. And, I don't know what's happening. It's just, it just doesn't seem to be working. And that's how it is sometimes. We don't feel like God is listening. But the truth is, he, he, oh, wait a minute. Great. Now it happens. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Rich. 